Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we have learned about angle, let's also talk about angle bisector. Bisector anything that divides something into two equal halves. So this is also going to be a line or a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. That is two equal angles. So let's say that you are given an angle, say ABC. So let's say this is A, B and C. Now if I ask you to draw angle bisector of this angle ABC, that means you need to draw such a ray which would divide this angle into two equal angles. So how are we going to do that? Let's see. So for that again we would need a compass. Take a compass Consider B as the center, that is the common point of the angle, B as the center, any convenient radius and draw an arc like this. Now you will observe that this arc will intersect the two arms of the angle at points D and E. So let's call this point as D and this point as E. So we see that this newly drawn arc is intersecting the two arms of the angle at points D and E respectively. Now what are we going to do? Now we take the compass, consider E as the center and radius greater than half of DE. Half, so whenever you know we want to bisect anything, we do it this way. So we take, we consider both the uh, extreme ends as two centers and we draw arcs from both the points. Like this is how we were doing while we wanted to draw perpendicular bisectors also. So we will follow the same logic. So consider E as center, draw an arc. Radius should be more than half DE. That means radius should be slightly more than the midpoint of DE. And then you draw an arc. Similarly, in the next step, consider D as the center, radius slightly greater than the midpoint of DE and you draw another arc. And then you would see that these two arcs which you have drawn now, they intersect. So mark the point of intersection. Now what you have to do? Join B with this point of intersection, like this. So what is this green line you see? This is nothing but the angle bisector. Why? Because it bisects angle A, B, C into two equal angles. So now you have this is one angle, this is another angle. So this angle is now divided into two congruent angles. Therefore, the green line segment is nothing but an angle bisector. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.